The Needham Historical Society's latest exhibit, The History of Needham and 100 Objects, is not about the artifacts. Rather, it's about the stories they tell and gaining an understanding about life in Needham during the last 300 years. We've just opened our newest exhibit. It's called The History of Needham in 100 Objects. 2015 is our centennial, the Historical Society centennial. So we decided to do something a little bit special and something centered around the 100. So we found 100 of our most interesting, most evocative, most storytelling <laughs> objects. They give a little story of Needham from the 1600s all the way to the present day. The artifacts showcase politics, daily and community life, art, warfare, inventions, and other themes. We have a little arrow point that's actually 9,000 years old. It dates from pretty much the time that the, the ice sheets retreated from this area, so that's, that's quite spectacular. We have a kerchief. It's called a Washington kerchief. It's actually one of very few still in existence that was commissioned by Martha Washington for Friends of George. It's considered the earliest piece of printed propaganda in American history, and it shows George Washington on his horse, you know, having taken over the army, and she gave them to friends. And this came down through the Macintosh family to us, so that's, that's pretty special. We have a women's suffrage banner from the teens, a big, big parade banner from the teens. We have copies, unfortunately not the originals because they're not ours, but we have um, facsimiles of both the Nahoyden deed that deeded this land to the town fathers of Dedham for the expansion of the town into what's now Needham and Wellesley, and also a copy of the Dedham Farmer's Petition that separated Needham from Dedham in 1711 and has the first, nice big print, has the first use of the name Needham. The exhibit is free and open to the public Tuesday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Needham was a very early proponent of abolition. We had an abolition movement from pretty much the 1820s, early 1830s. Uh, we were a stronghold of the Free Soil Party. John C. Fremont came all the way to Calif from California to campaign in Needham. <laughs> uh, several inventions. We had a, an Arctic explorer. We had a space explorer, Sedita Williams, who was, you know, the, I think she still has the record for the longest time of a woman in space. Took a flag for us into space and it went around in the space station for six months and 75 million miles. Um, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of stories like that that I think people would enjoy and people would be surprised by. Learn a little bit more about the cool things that happened in town. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Ashley Jolier.